Let us solve a question on Nash equilibrium. This question was asked by a brother on WhatsApp. The question is like this. Find all pure strategy Nash equilibrium or equilibria. That means either this uh, question has one Nash equilibrium or more than one Nash equilibrium. Okay. In the following simultaneous game, in which player one has three strategies, we have player one, he has strategies T and B. While player 2, this is our player 2, has 3 strategies, either L, C, or he can play either L or C or R, or, okay? The pay of matrix is as follows. We are being given this very pay of matrix, okay? So, we need to find out uh, the Nash equilibrium or equilibria, okay? So, the options are given as M, C, and B, L, uh, T, L, and B, C, T, R, and M, L. Or only BL okay we need to see which option is correct okay now how do we define Nash equilibrium Nash equilibrium as I have explained it in the game theory uh, it uh, Nash equilibrium states that a player can achieve the desired outcome by not deviating from their initial strategy okay so in Nash equilibrium uh, what happens each player's uh, strategy is optimal when considering the decision of other players okay so let's try to figure out the Nash equilibrium here so let me use uh, any kind of color okay so let's use this very one so let's uh, take player one okay let us say player one plays strategy T okay if player one uh, plays strategy uh, T by the way these red uh, the first numbers in these cells represent uh, the payoff for player 1 and the second numbers okay represent the payoff for player second okay so these red are for the one and the black ones are for player 2 as the payoff okay so let us say player 1 plays the strategy t okay now if player 1 plays a t player 2 has uh, three options either to play l or c or or okay let us see what happens if player one plays uh, t so player two can get either pay of zero one or two okay so since uh, the players are rational so the player will choose the highest payoff and highest payoff occurs here okay so let us underline this okay now let us say player one plays strategy m okay strategy m in this case also player Two has three uh, strategies either he can play L C R and correspondingly the payoffs will be four two or three okay so four two three and the greatest number in these is four so he will obviously choose higher payoff so let's underline this okay now let us say player uh, one plays strategy a B again three options for player uh, two either to play L, C, R, so L gives him 3, C gives him 2, or gives him 0. So, obviously, 3 is greater than, uh, greater among of these, okay, so we underline the highest payoff, okay. So, now we will change and let us see what happens when player 2 chooses to play L, okay. If player 2 chooses to play L, uh, player 1 has three options either to play T, M, B or correspondingly the payoffs are 2, 3, 1 for player 1. So obviously player 1 will choose uh, the highest possible payoff so it occurs here when he uh, chooses M. So let us underline this also. Okay. Now let us see what happens when player 2 chooses to play a uh, strategy C. Again, player 1 has 3 options, either to play T, M, B and corresponding uh, payoffs are 1, 1 and 1. So, 1, 1 and 0. So, let's underline these two. Okay, they are the same. We need to find out the highest. Okay, so obviously when we have the same numbers, we can underline them. The highest ones. Okay, let us see what happens when player 2 chooses R. Again, player 1 has 3 options, T, M, B. So, the out uh, payoffs are 4, 2, and 3. So, obviously, player R will choose 4 because it gives him highest payoff. So, let's underline them. Okay. Now, 
um, Nash equilibrium will occur where we have underlined both numbers in the cells. Okay, so easily we can see this cell and this cell. Both numbers are being underlined here. Okay, in this case. So we can say this um, problem has two Nash equilibria. Okay, so we have more than one Nash equilibrium here. And what is the Nash equilibrium here? So the Nash equilibrium is like this. We have three four. Let me write it here. So we have three four. This is one Nash equilibrium. And second is four two. Okay. Now what does this mean? Three four. Three three four means player 1 will play M okay and correspondingly player L will play sorry player 2 will play L that means one Nash equilibrium will be ML this is the strategy profile uh, for player 1 and 2 and this means when player P plays 2 sorry T uh, player 1 plays T Rosary must dull on capital so we have player 1 plays T and correspondingly player R plays sorry player 2 plays R ok so we have this action profile that means ML and TR so we have here TR and ML that means this option is correct These, uh, the, uh, in this question we have multiple Nash equilibria ok so um, by Nash equilibrium, we mean each player's strategy is optimal when considering uh, the decision of other players. Okay, and um, what does the Nash equilibrium status? It states that a player can achieve the desired outcome by not deviating from their initial strategies. Okay, no person has a, a unilateral incentive to change their strategy. Okay, so these are the optimal outcomes for optimal uh, strategies. Okay, I hope I make myself clear in this video. Thank you.